everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is nicole and i am a part-time reseller on poshmark today i want to talk about the best secret features that you probably don't know about that you should be using on poshmark these are going to help you make a lot more sales and be more successful on the platform they are features that not a lot of people know about but should definitely be using let's get right into the video but make sure that you're also subscribed so you don't miss any other future reselling content that i do i do this every single week so i'd love to have you stick around for more The first feature that you should totally be using on Poshmark that you're probably not using already is the drafts. So a lot of people, when I tell them that they should use drafts, they don't know what that means or how to do it. So let me walk you through what it is and then how you use it. So this is just basically a folder that keeps all of your drafts uh, for your listings on Poshmark before you want to post them. So say you don't have all the details done that you want, or maybe you, you kind of took all your photos, but you didn't do any of your descriptions yet. You can save your items as drafts, so they won't be to the public yet, but they are saved there in the template, so you don't have to keep them on your phone or anything. So how you do this is you go as if you were gonna make a listing. So take the photos, add the description, add the title, and you can kind of add whatever you have at the moment. You don't have to fill it out completely. And then instead of hitting list, you would basically hit cancel on the top left side. And then once you hit that, it'll say either um, delete or save as a draft. So here you would hit save as a draft. And once you have a draft saved, then you can actually open those drafts under the settings in your um, phone in your profile so you could just say okay open my drafts and then any drafts that you have will show up and so for me i use this when i want to draft all my listings in bulk uh, so i try to do as many as i can in one sitting and i try and fill them up so you have about 50 drafts that you could have at once saved on poshmark and then actually it'll give you an error message if you try to save another one after that it'll say you've exceeded the maximum number of drafts i try to take advantage of this i think it helps save a lot of time and I think it helps me be way more efficient during the week. So I don't take photos and do my measurements and do the listings every single night. But what I do is I just hit list on five of the items each day. So if I'm out and about or if I'm not home or if I don't have time to take pictures, I have all my drafts ready to go. So I'm still adding new inventory to my closet every single day. And so this is a key because this will help you have more sales because you're gonna be more successful because you're sharing more, you're adding more. And so if you only have time to draft a couple at a time, that's fine. But then you would have some backups for when the time is that you don't have to actually take photos. So definitely start using the drafts if you don't already utilize them and you will find that it'll help you be a lot more successful and it will help you save a lot of time. And I know we all wanna save time because Time is precious and you could be using your time to do other things during the week when you don't have that time to, you know, be taking photos. Okay, so the next secret tool that you should be using on Poshmark is using the sending offers without using the offer to likers. So sending an offer through the bundle actually allows you to send an offer without providing a shipping discount. So here is going to help you save money because it's going to help you not have to give a shipping discount on an item that might already be really cheap or that you might already be discounting because you're trying to lower the offer for someone. So how you do this is you go to their bundle. So you would go to their page and there's a little bundle icon on the top of the screen. You click on that and then you click switch to sell view. This is gonna show all the items that they liked from your closet and if they've added them to the bundle or already or if you add them yourself. So you would just click add to bundle on the bottom of each of the likes and then it would show up in their bundle and then from there you could either send them a message or you can just send them an offer but you just hit the offer button uh, in the bottom right corner and this would allow a offer to go through without having to provide a shipping discount so i like doing this if i know i'm providing them a really good discount to begin with or if it's an older item and i just kind of want to like you know get rid of it so i can send them a really good offer but i don't want to cover the discounted shipping or i also will use this if it's an item that i just listed like recently and I don't want to necessarily give more of a discount on it than I am, but I still want to send an offer. I can maybe lower the price by like five to $10 and still not have to give a shipping discount. So I'm still gonna make a lot of money on the item, but this kind of helps you out. This is a really nice feature because like, like I said, again, you don't have to worry about that shipping discount because the shipping discount really adds up over time. And for me, I actually find that I lose a lot of money giving shipping discounts. So if I don't give a shipping discount, it's gonna help me make more money on the platform. So I recommend trying this if you don't already know about doing this. And I see a lot of people wondering like, well, how can I send out an offer if I don't give a shipping discount? 
um, because you can't with off the likers. And this is exactly how. And the other good thing about doing this is you could see if they've liked multiple items from your closet. And if they have, say they've like two or three or, or more than that, if you have a bundle discount already built into your closet, then that will actually help you because then you can just say, hey, look, you're gonna get a bundle discount for all of your legs. So if you buy now, you'll actually get a 15% discount. So then right there, you don't even have to lower the price and you don't have to send an offer because it's already built into the bundle. So I think it's just a great idea to use the bundle feature to find if someone liked your items and then send them an offer. And you might actually end up saving a lot more money doing this. Now that we're on the topic of talking about the bundle discount, let me quick use that as the next tip because I think that is a really important tool is setting a bundle discount for your closet. So for me, I have it set for two or more items and it's a 15% discount. So this means if they add two or more items, they automatically get that 15% discount applied. So if they were to check out immediately, it would show up there. And so this is kind of nice because it kind of entices people to buy a little bit more from your closet and that actually will give you more money. And it helps the buyer because they're saving money. So it's kind of a win-win for like both parties. And I think it just kind of makes your closet look a little bit more like appealing to people that are just searching on the app because it shows up at the bottom saying that this seller has a bundle discount built in. So you can kind of customize that to be what you want and you can customize it for however many items you want. So like I set it to two or more items, but you can set it to three or more or four or more or anything like that. And then you can customize it to be what you want. So you could say uh, 10%, 15%, 20%, stuff like that. And so I think it's important to have this. You don't have to go overboard you don't have to like give an extreme discount even if you have like two or more items for 10 percent, it's still something and it's still more appealing than having nothing at all and so this is great to be using and so if you're not already using this make sure you set it up in your profile and you'll see a lot more sales come in because people can automatically have that bundle discount and it looks way better of a deal to them. The next tool that you should be using, and this one I actually haven't heard many people talk about, so this is kind of a new one, but this is to make sure that you're utilizing the original price and the your listed price properly. So a lot of people I've actually seen, and for me myself, I actually leave the original price most of the time as zero because a lot of the times I don't actually know what the retail price was or what I paid for the item, like I don't wanna disclose that, or I don't know what the price of it was in the store or anything like that. So I just put zero and then I list whatever my listing price is, which is what I'm trying to sell the item for. And, but what I've started realizing is if you start actually utilizing that original price a little bit better, it actually looks more appealing to the customer because then it looks like they're getting a really good deal. So for example, if you have a piece that is originally $150 retail and you put that it is originally $150 retail price, but then you're only charging 35 for it, it looks like they're getting a really good deal because it shows you're getting that much money off of the item. But however, this could be used against you if you're not using that original price correctly. So how you would not use that original price correctly is if you don't actually know what the retail price was to begin with, because it could be more or it could be less. So you don't wanna make up that retail price and you definitely don't wanna just estimate that retail price. But what you could do to find out what that price was if you don't actually know, um, say you don't have the tags for the item or say like, you know, the item is not necessarily new, but you still want to know what the re uh, retail price would be. If you know the name of the item or if you know the style of the item, you can look up comps for that item. So you could search in the name of the item. You could look up the item in particular and see if you could find it on the Google Lens app. That will sometimes tell you what the name of the item is. And then if you type that into Google and say, this is the name of the item and you know what it is, the color, all that, most of the time there are gonna be listings that come up with that item and then you could just filter those on Poshmark because you can probably find someone that's selling it on Poshmark. You can filter those by new with tag. And so if you filter by new with tag, you can go through all the items that are new with tag on Poshmark and then see if someone has a picture of the tag with the retail price. So this is just a great way to win because then you would actually know what the retail price was and most of the time it's probably higher than you think. So uh, that could help you because then you could just put that in the retail price spot and which would be the original cost and then it would look like they're getting a better deal. But you definitely don't want to just make up the number because if someone knows the actual price of the item and you're making it up, they might not want to trust you, especially if you're completely over what the price actually is. So only put an original price if you actually know what the retail price is and you've been able to confirm it via somebody else's listing or somewhere online. 
and if you don't actually know what the retail price is, do not make it up, just put zero, that could be fine. But it can actually help you to utilize the original price if you use it correctly. And the final feature that you should definitely be using on Poshmark that's gonna help you bring out more success is utilizing the closet clear out uh, that they have typically every weekend. So this, for those that don't know, is just a way to lower the price of items in your closet. And then once you do that and you have likers on the item, Poshmark will actually send out a notification to all of those people that like the item and say, such and such seller has lowered the price by whatever percent, so 10% or 15%, whatever percentage it was. And if you buy it within the next couple of hours, Poshmark will actually cover the discounted shipping. So the buyer will get it for $4.99. Uh, or with $4.99 shipping. So I think this is a great way to kind of cover your bases. So you're sending out that offer, even though you're not really sending it, it's kind of just lowering the price of the item. So it's making it look more uh, good for the, you know the buyer, but also you don't have to worry about covering that shipping. And I think that's key because a lot of the times, like I mentioned earlier, I actually lose out when I give a shipping discount but I actually find that it helps a lot more when I give that shipping discount because the buyer doesn't want to pay $7 in shipping. So if Poshmark is covering the shipping discount and I'm lowering the price of the item, it's a win-win for everybody because then I'm making my money and the buyer is getting a discounted price. So it's typically starting either Thursday or Friday night and it continues into like Sunday night. Sometimes it even continues into Monday if they extend it, but it's just a little notification in the top of the app and it shows up and tells you, okay, it's closet clear out now, I'll lower the prices. And for this to work, you have to lower the price by at least 10%. But on any of the likers that are on the item, they'll send out a notification to them saying that you've lowered the price and that you could buy it within, you know, the next, I think it's like six hours or so. They get a time frame. So if they don't buy within six hours, that lowering the price with the shipping discount is not going to apply anymore. And so typically after I lower the prices for closet clear out, I then actually put my prices back where they were after the fact. Um, and also you can send out a message to the likers and just let them know, like just letting you know I lowered the price and explain to them what closet clear out is because I've actually found that a lot of buyers don't actually know what it is and they don't know how to go about it. And a lot of them ask me like, oh, they don't see the shipping discount. Like, how does it work? And you have to kind of explain to them that they have to hit the buy now and then it'll show up um, in the checkout. So if you're not already using the closet clear out uh, to get to give discounted shipping, I highly recommend it. It's gonna help you a lot. It's gonna help you save money. And it's kind of a hidden feature that a lot of people don't know about and definitely don't know how it works. So I would recommend using it and you'll actually see that it's gonna help you bring in a lot more sales and save you on your shipping discount. So you don't have to do that anymore. So these are the hidden features and secret gems that I highly recommend using on Poshmark. I think they are all really good and I think they don't get talked about, talked about enough. I think some of these can help you be really, really successful. And if you don't know about them, I would highly recommend start using them because it's going to help you generate more sales. And if you do know about them, let me know down below which one that you've used or that which one you like and which one helps you bring in the most sales. I'm curious because I actually like a lot of these and I've used most of these myself. So I think they're great and I think they're gonna help you have more success. So if you wanna see more reselling content, like I mentioned earlier, I do reselling content every single Thursday on this channel. So I'd love to have you stick around for more. So make sure that you're subscribed to see that. But in the meantime, if you wanna see more things that you should and shouldn't do on Poshmark, you can click right here. And also, if you want to see a video on how you can make more consistent sales on the platform, you can click right here. But until next time, I'll see you then.